If you think quilting, quilting was just for great grandmas, maybe in the little house on the prairie days, hmm. you haven't seen Stephanie Sebbing's approach because she has uh, a way of teaching it. She has a shop of modern contemporary fabrics and Stephanie's business is called Quilt Addicts Anonymous because she is a quilt addict. Is that, uh, that is, is fair that accurate? to say. That is 100% accurate to say. How do you get addicted to quilting, Stephanie? Well, it usually starts with the fabric. You start seeing fabrics like this Ooh, and you just pretty. think that they're gorgeous. And then eventually you have so much of it you need to do something or you feel like you're just like wasting your money on pretty things that look nice on your shelf. When and did you start? I started when I graduated from college. I was very bored. I was the uh, newspaper editor at Augustana College and I worked at newsrooms in the Quad Cities. So when I was just working 40 hours a week, I, I needed a hobby and this ended up being it. Because it's so different, isn't it, from everything you just said, working in a newsroom or whatever, because it is. working with your hands and, and, your, and your fingers. And it's, it's just a nice creative outlet, not that writing for newspapers isn't, but it's a creative in a different way. Yes, and did your uh, mother, grandmother, anybody in your family ever do this? My aunt quilts, um, but she lives in the Chicago suburbs, so I was kind of self-taught before mm -hmm. YouTube, and I made a lot of mistakes. So when we started doing YouTube tutorials, I came at it from that idea of that there may be people who don't have access to somebody who can sit down with them and show them the right way, and we're gonna do that with three camera angles in HD. I would say most of us don't have any examples of who's going to teach us. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go to a class, but I'm going to watch you on YouTube. So we're looking at some of your videos here, I guess. Yeah, that is right? our fabric cutting machine. Oh, look that at that. That saves us a lot of time. That's my husband. He's going to be very embarrassed to be on TV. Oh, um, wow. Well. <laughs> but he's cutting our subscription club. We have about 800 members who receive a fat quarter bundle, which is a bundle of fabric from us once a month. Uh -huh. And this machine helps us get that done. Oh, I'll bet. Um, so we're able to have the machine cut the majority of it and then we end up with these massive stacks nine massive stacks of fabric that our team lovingly folds bundles and ties and then once they receive it I design a quilt pattern mm -hmm. from that and it's is inspired by the fabric so that it can kind of live its best life it's like when you hire a designer for your kitchen you might know that you like this backsplash and this tile but you don't know how they're going to go together mm -hmm. and by creating the quilt from the fabric showing them how to do it, giving them the instructions on how to make it. It gives people the confidence to know that it's gonna turn out good in the end and they're gonna be confident in their choices. Is so this the fat bundle you mentioned? Is that, that what it's is called? That is actually or? a full quilt this um, is, kit. Really? Yeah. Well, this is the kit. This is what became this. Yes, so yeah. our members would have gotten a portion of that and then got first dibs on getting additional fabric to turn the portion of it into enough to make a full quilt. This is the Blooming Star. Uh, quilt kit and it's it is big it's, it comes yes, to the table this, uh, and it's beyond this yes. fabric here mm -hmm. um, this was one of our more recent ones and we actually just got the fabric in from overseas to for the extra white so we I have a the, bunch of these in stock right the now the colors and everything are so pretty well and we try to do something a little bit different every month this one the fabrics looked really good on a big scale so that's what I did when I designed it others look different than that um, because the fabric calls for something else mm -hmm. so it's always fun to take a look at it and sort of let it digest in my brain and figure out how can we turn this into an actual quilt. This is actually image of me designing this quilt, I think it is. Or yes, actually, it is. this is the one that's, that we did last month. The, the process, yes. Um, so it kinda, I work, uh, my newspaper friends will like this. I work in InDesign because <laughs> I've been using it since college and, and I'm used to it. It works just it fine It does, for it this. works okay, just fine. Good. So this uh, is sped up at a great speed. This took me about an hour to figure out. And there's a lot of math uh, involved to make sure that what I think is gonna work is gonna actually work in once you cut it apart. Is this easy to teach, Stephanie? I know you, um, you're, a good, kind of. you're a good instructor. I think for stuff like this, y you know, you have it or, or you don't. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, we all can get ourselves dressed in the morning and figure out something that works good together. Um, but to have someone who's like a professional stylist, that's another level. Yes. Um, so that's what we do is we really help people because not everybody feels like, like, okay, I can get myself dressed in the morning, but I don't know that all this right. is gonna look great like that. Help me put the components together. Exactly. And then, yes, right. The, the, the kit kind mm -hmm. of mentality, I guess, exactly. right? Exactly. And so you're, um, so we can find your YouTube um, channel, all your info, 
where exactly? Um, well, our website is shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. Okay. From there, you can get to our blog site where you can see hundreds, maybe thousands of mm -hmm. tutorials at this point. You can also just search us on YouTube. Um, we have over 100,000 subscribers on there, so we should right. be easy to find. So are you, a, this is a business for you, obviously. Oh, yes. Yes. We have 12 employees. Yeah. Um, I started off just wanting to do something different. After my journalism days, I went into marketing, and that is very much a job that takes all of you. And when I had my daughter, I knew that I couldn't be fully present as a mom and be the kind of employee that, you know, they were looking for. I wanted to be able to have that work-life balance that we all mm -hmm. have you know wanted to get in the last couple years I wanted it eight years ago when I had my first daughter and it wasn't the thing and so I managed to create that for myself and now we've created it for our team as well it's perfect for now isn't yeah. it and uh, you don't need a storefront no I mean you can you you make this happen all online in fact we've grown significantly since we let go of our yeah. storefront because we were able it. to focus on online and bringing this to people all over um, the U.S. and Canada order from us. And making uh, quilt addicts uh, wherever you go, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Stephanie's having joined us today. And this is really cool stuff. Uh, maybe come back for the fall or the holidays. I know you use special things for the seasonal stuff. We right now have a series of Quilt Miss in July. It's 12 different <gasps> ideas of things you can quilt make. Quilt Miss in July. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, that's cool. Yes. All right, fun. Well, good. Well, let's get together again. That'd be great. Our, our viewers would enjoy it. Sounds Thanks, good. Stephanie. Thank you for having me. Thank you.